you guys. Right, in here I've got my basic bath bomb mix with a bit of orange peel powder added in as an extra. Um, I thought I'd bring you along to show you because I'm getting ready for my bath and I wanted a milky bath bomb for it. So I thought, right, I'm going to make it and I'm going to make a video doing it. So these are my dry mixes for a normal bath bomb along with the orange peel powder, as I said, which is good for skin lightening. It's a bit lumpy where I haven't made any for a while. It's compacted somewhat. You can see most of my other videos will have my bath bomb mix recipe available. I'm not going to add it in here. This is just a quick video to share with you what I'm making today for myself. And get back into the... Doing the videos. Concentrating my mind away from all the rubbish in life. And uh, putting it to some good use for people that do care. Breaking up those bigger lumps right now. No matter how many tools you get for bath bomb making, your hands are always the best ones. Unfortunately, I haven't got any gloves on today, but it doesn't matter because I'm only making these for my own family use. And it's really hard to wear but gloves when you're making bath bombs because the um, citric acid is quite rough has a tendency to um, rip the gloves to shreds you end up with fingerless gloves been good to interact with a few more people on YouTube recently. I feel like some of the communities that I've been a part of in the past could maybe come back to being the communities that I loved them for. So I'm watching with bated breath to see if the drama really does ease down before I really start mixing again. Um, some of the stuff I've seen I'm just absolutely disgusted by. But we won't go into too much detail. Not on my channel. Um, so... Here I'm at with you for a bit of peaceful bath bomb making. It's been a while since Christmas as it goes. milk bath bombs. I've got some wonderful coconut milk powder. Um, now this batch is a free bicarb cup, three cups of bicarb batch. So I'm going to add about two coconut milk powder. I've also got some bubbly bath 
and showed him laurels of acetate, which is great to say when I've just had dentist work done, <laughs> um, which makes the bubbles, so that'll spread the creaminess around the bath a bit. Oh, it smells lovely, it's all milky and creamy. Of course, because it's coconut milk powder, it's not an animal product, so they're still vegetarian, and it's not um, it's not um, gonna like it's not a moist product, so it's not gonna go mouldy. And as you know, Cleopatra based in milk. Allegedly. Just break up those clumps a bit. Like you can sieve it all, but I'm not going to do that for my own personal use when it's. I don't mind. It's all about the rubbing, like you have to massage it between your hands. <laughs> to really get the crumbs get, like blending when you do add the colours and that yeah, that's what you need to do as well it's rubbing it into the powders Not only do I constantly seem to have allergies lately, but the powder gets up your nostrils. I'm rubbing it all down myself because I'm still in my pyjamas. Bit of tea, coffee actually, but... Right, so that's my powdery mix. And then over here, I've got in here some dendritic salt and some silk peptide powder. We're going to make up our oily mix. Well, I say oily, but I'm going to start with a bit of Cocomida Pro Bulb in tea. I don't have any aloe vera juice today, but I'm buying some. Well, I just bought some. So the Cocomida Pro Bulb Betaine adds bubblies. It works in conjunction with the SLSA. It's great stuff. Mm. That much. Now this stuff does activate the mix and it makes it fizz a bit so you don't want it to fizz too much because you want it to fizz in the bath and then I'm going to add a bit of polysorbate to help the oils mix in not a lot though because we have got the bubble stuff in there which does help mix the oils in a bit as well um apricot kernel oil mm, we're gonna go like because we're making up four different batches at the moment just like four small batches a couple of each 
um, a little bit of jojoba oil, golden, golden jojoba oil. Which is as close as you can get to our skin's sebum, natural sebum. It's very good for the skin and I will rub that little excess bit on my face here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, before I get in the bath. That would be good for my skin. Um, a little drop of vitamin E oil. And then I've got some calendula oil that I've had steeping for about eight months. Ugh. Calendula should be really soothing on the skin. I was going to add some flowers, like dried flowers, into the bases of the bath bombs, but I can't be bothered to pull them all out of storage at the moment. One more. dendritic salt in here is because it's a funny shape compared to other salts and so this batch also has Epsom salts in it by the way but and it because of the different shape it adds it holds fragrance more so I put that in this bit so when I add the fragrances it will have hold those fragrances a bit better and of course the silk makes it silky. Yummy. lovely oils and goodies into the skin. My fingers keep blocking, I'm afraid. Divide this into like four different portions. 
so I was going to do four different batches before we add the fragrance oils to each. And I'll add a bit of colour as well, I think. Only a little bit though. Gonna do like single colour bombs with a bit of glitter and um, more embeds. Like the colour will come from the embeds rather than from the bomb bit itself. Yeah, you're going to hundred, but that's okay. Divide my powder mix into four different batches. It's a quick mix through, make sure it's all thoroughly incorporated. full-time education in further education they both passed all of their exams well they didn't sit their exams obviously but um, they passed the qualifications that they needed to get into the courses that they wanted to do which were great um obviously there's been a lot of anxiety around all that this year 
with everything. I'm very anxious about them returning to school, as are they, especially with the increase in cases recently. I'm on the most severe risk category for, I think it's three reasons, but the fourth reason that I've got the pre-cancer for, um, like NGUS, which is weird, like, but, which is a multiple myeloma pre-cancer. Um, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm not just on there for one reason, I'm on there for three different reasons, and there's only six reasons to be on there. So, um, because I've got previous regular admissions for pneumonia and flu is one of the reasons. I'm on immune suppression is two of the reasons. I take methotrexate, which is chemotherapy drug. And three, I have um, lung disease, obviously. And um, so it's all been very interesting, to say the least. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. That's the powder getting on my chest, my lungs aren't that bad at the moment, apart from I've had to be taking ibuprofen recently for my teeth. Let me just go let the wheels in. Okay, so I'm going to put in three of these, what should I do, one and a half, you think? One and a half. Cute One. behind me so if there's a loud bang you know what it is okay <laughs> one and a half I think we can go a little bit more maybe one and three quarters okay so I've got them sat up over there and we'll work with this one batch first yeah Fragrance oil. Oops, there's a bit of the oil gone in straight away. Um, what what fragrance oil should we use on this one? The Pina Colada. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, it smells beautiful. I thought Pina Colada would go really well with like the coconut milk. <laughs> Excuse my belly growling away. I haven't been able to eat much because of the dental work and I'm in a lot of pain. Actually, I'm meant to be phoning the dentist right now to go back again because there's something wrong. Yay. So someone who's terrified of the dentist, I've been going at a hell of a lot lately. But I'm looking forward to the end product because I need new teeth. Basically, when I had the robbery, they knocked my teeth loose. So I've gone for full dentures, which when it comes down to if my lungs get worse and I end up needing a transplant, that'll be great because I'll have already had my teeth removed, which is, of course, less risk for infection. It also means less risk for infection generally for myself, which is probably going to be a good thing, I think. Remember that it's for bath bombs, not the soap. And not be too shy with the fragrance because it's going to fill a whole bath full. 
although one of these batches has got some essential oils in, so I will be a little bit more gentle with that. Right, this is pina colada, you should smell my room right now. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Oh. We start mixing that in. Oops, there it goes a little bit. I'm gonna get that lot off the spoon because every penny counts with these it's sort of luxury, expensive ingredients. Like people don't realise how much money I spend on making these bath bombs. I make the most luxurious you can imagine. Whereas Lush make the most sort of basic recipe and then I add all of these special ingredients on that to make sure that they're the best you can get. Well, I shouldn't claim that actually. They're not the best you can get, it's just that homemade is so much better than shop bought. Yeah, at for homemade. And smell them coconut milk it's lovely I'm gonna add a tiny bit of color to this and my finger my finger pretty much locks all the time I've said today before but just in case you do see me pulling my finger funnily that is why because my finger locks so I get Trigger finger. It's not much fun, but it's not that painful either. It could be worse. Right, pina colada. I thought I would go with the orangey one. Orange glitter. So. Over here I've got some moulds like this. And this, what I'm going to do as well, because I can't be bothered to do them all with heart shapes. Um, bath on mould because that's hard work. I might get some um, round mould out. I'll pull them.